All right, so we shot up to Riviera Beach for kind of a big event we've been waiting for quite some time now. It's the official unveiling of the Valhalla 46. Now, these guys, if you don't know the way they work with Viking, with Valhalla, it seems like they just don't make mistakes. They put something out right the first time and they start cranking them out from day one. So we're gonna check out this 46. They have one in the water, um, I believe, 20 to 30 of them sold already and it's gonna be an exciting day dissecting this boat and seeing every little detail with Ryan Higgins and Chris Landry here with the team so I'm gonna turn around and show you your first peek you ready check this thing out quad 450 R's absolute beast now this boat starts somewhere around 1.1, rigged out as you see it, around 1.5, roughly, don't quote me on it, but just so you guys have an idea. We're gonna jump on board, get a full tour, get the drone up in the air, and really show you as much as we possibly can about this beautiful new center console by all the boat works. If you guys find some value in these videos, subscribe, we look forward to doing much, much more of these. We'll sacrifice ourselves every time for the greater good. So I'm here with Ryan Higgins taking our first trip on the 46 Valhalla. You guys have heard it, you've seen a few pictures by this point, but we wanted to spend a little time and these guys were nice enough to allocate a couple hours for us before their unveiling event here in uh, Riviera Beach. So Ryan, um, thank you first of all, yeah, always a pleasure. Yes, um, why don't you give us kind of a, run of a rundown, what was the idea on this 46, give us a couple details maybe we don't know about, let's yeah. start with that. No, it's pretty amazing to think that this time last year was the first time we had at our VIP event the Valhalla line, just one year ago. Yeah. And in, in launching three new models at one time, uh, we quickly had some customers come to us with the uh, 41 and uh, wanted air conditioning, wanted a little cabin, a place for the kids to stay and, and get out of the weather. Uh, and refrigeration was a big thing and, and all of these things we knew we needed a diesel generator a diesel tank and we did dive into it on the 41 we just realized we didn't have the space uh, right. so we, we quickly uh, with our design team uh, all got our heads together and, and uh, produced a pretty awesome boat with you know everything from our our mezzanine style that you see on the big Vikings to uh, dual row seating with seven helm chairs, uh, forward lounge seating, and keeping in mind, you know, all doing it with pretty awesome styling and keeping in mind Vikings a hardcore fish boat as well as Valhalla. So I think you'll see some pretty awesome live well setups with the forward pitch well. Uh, we went ahead, instead of having one large well in the back, we have two uh, 54 gallon live wells to segregate the different baits and all that. And uh, with the additional on deck live well options. So. Yeah. Hey guys, you know, always do a, a great job. And this, once you get into the a, a center console of this size, sometimes they lose those proportions. They look a little strange, but this thing still looks just as sexy as the rest of the line. That was um, a big, big factor, you know. Just looking at the styling of this Pro Curve glass windshield, we incorporated this fiberglass window frame for some additional support to the hard top, and like all our Viking hard tops, incorporated our radar pod design, which allows us for the electric teaser reels, like you'll mm -hmm. see on any large Viking. All those thoughts and different rod blocker layouts, and, and uh, that. We, we put a lot of thought into this, and it 
came out awesome, but, but what's really impressive to me is at 46 feet, just under 30,000 pounds, that we're, the performance we're seeing, you know, right. with the cruise speed around 50 miles an hour, and we're seeing top end of, uh, you know, right around 70. Incredible. All right, so we're making our way out. We're going to try to get the drone up in the air, show you some exterior footage of the boat running. And then we're going to get down and dirty here with Ryan and go through every piece of this boat in detail. So you're going to see that here in a second. We hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we just took her offshore and actually got the drone up. It's blowing at least 25 out here, if not more than that, probably more than we should have uh, messed with with the drone, but I think we got some good stuff for you. Now we popped in. We're going to try to get some performance numbers with Ryan, see what this thing can do with the quad 450 yards. into a headwind, like I said, 25, 30 knots, doing easy 50 miles an hour. You don't even feel it in this thing. Now we're gonna Go with the wind a little bit, see if we can get some top end speed, see what we see what we get to.
punched it there a second. We're right there, just under 70 miles an hour, 69.9 I think we got to. Right there. So I was brushing it, again, serious wind today, but this thing performs incredibly. Quad 450Rs, an unbelievable power plant for this thing, and see a boat of this size, this beam, what, what kind of beam are we talking about? 13? 13.4. 13.4 beam. Doing 70 is very impressive. Yeah, that was good. Our pulse, uh, just over 400 gallons of fuel, 70 gallons of water, 33 gallons of diesel. So we had a decent load on it. All right. Not bad at all. Not often you see two to three inside the, uh, the bay, huh? <laughs> Maybe not quite, but you got white caps. Small craft advisory in the bay today, Riviera Beach. Since the wind is blowing the way it is, we're gonna go ahead and dock up at the event. We're gonna do our full walkthrough, show you every bit of this boat and let Ryan, which is a full expert on the Valhalla brand, tell us what they did on this boat and every feature uh, in the same time. I mean, we 70 miles an hour, incredible. To see a boat of this size to do that and how it performed off offshore with the winds, the way they were blowing. Um, Something we expect from biking, but always impressive when you jump on here and get to experience it yourself. All right, so the moment you've all been waiting for, Ryan's gonna walk us through from stern to bow, going through as much detail as we possibly can. And for those of you that have stuck through the video this long, this is what you came to see. So Ryan, if you can, let's go yeah. ahead and start with the uh, Mercury Racing Outboard Power and uh, work our way back from that. Yeah, as you saw, these uh, quad 450s just pushed us upwards of 70 miles an hour, yep. around a uh, 50 mile an hour cruise. Um, moving forward at the transom here, we went on this model, we went with uh, dual live wells. Um, we have 54 gallons a, a piece, pressurized live wells. And, uh, you know, for the northern crowd that wants a big fish box or one big well, we can do that can as do well. That. Okay. Um, this customer opted for the uh, clear acrylic lids and the, uh, the glass uh, light and window. That's really um, nice with the extra beam you have here. It definitely makes sense oh, to be yeah. able to, you know, yeah. you said 54 gallons each? Yes, sir. Oh. Yep. All right. 13.4 on the beam. I mean, it gives you a lot to work with. Sure. Um, for, okay. you know, tucked away like we have on all our other models. The uh, fold out G.G. Smith uh, seats, which are really comfortable. Um, it's awesome to have that here. I mean, if you want to throw bean bags and stuff, I guess you can, but having those completely out of the way when you're yeah. fishing and it takes yeah. half a second to pop them up. I mean, it's a, it's a great little detail back here. You, you feel the beam here in the cockpit. I mean, it's a really large cockpit. Um, we have our uh, large lazarette hatch there. Really clean build. Um, Two 4500 hooker electric pumps in their seat chest with manifold system. You can see uh, to the two wells here and the, to the forward pitch well. And then uh, this is all a resin infused uh, stringer grid on this boat. So we have incorporated into that the uh, Sea Keeper mounting structure. It really uh, handles the torque of the Sea Keeper really well. well. So this is the uh, SK6 down in this area which also houses our air conditioning pump and our Sea uh, Keeper cooling pump, as well as our steering pumps. Okay. A lot of detail down in those areas. Um, port and starboard in-deck fish boxes, really, really deep and really long in length there. Just really like all the Valhalla's, everything in the deck is all foamed and all every deck box is insulated so any of the boxes the five boxes can hold ice really well okay um and of course as you as you now see on every viking sport fish boat and every valhalla's uh really nice mezzanine seat yeah and what does this top out at this uh, 70. so we're at a live event right now so uh we have guests coming to check out the boat so bear with us you know yeah. that's the way this stuff works but yeah i mean you can see this rear facing seat on this 46 footer doesn't take away much of this car no, space I mean, at all you got more than enough to do yeah. everything you need um then you have a comfortable seat right here which 
back towards you know the aft area of the boat is extremely comfortable when you're running. Yeah. Um, we got a few people here. doing a uh, rocket launcher here as well. Sure, yeah. Uh, so underneath we have two split boxes, uh, and this is all refrigerated. And just like every uh, all the refrigeration on the Vikings, you know, it's a fiberglass finish on the inside, and then. Uh, you have the uh, so the chill plates are tucked underneath. There. It's all it's all coiled and insulated. Oh, coiled! Yep. Oh, wow! Yeah. So you don't actually see a, a metal plate. Metal plate. In. Yep. That's very and, nice. Uh, we utilized all the open space in here, and you have oh, the wow. uh, Plano box inserts and uh, just a really large drawer. Yeah. Additional little space to yeah. throw your knives, your pliers. Yeah. And this is all held by magnets. Yep. Like You can see the back side of these released marine chairs, something you're accustomed to seeing on the Valhallas. It seems like almost every single one has them, and it's, it's just such an amazing accent on, on these boats. Yeah, it fits with the details of the boat. With the molded in tow rail, a lot of people go with the uh, faux teak option, mm -hmm. um, and then the teak helm chair package. Back here on the second row, we, we you know, release is going to uh, build a, a bench seat for us as oh, well. Yeah. As a as an option, and then we're gonna have a upholstered bench seat also as another option. Right. Let's work our way yeah. up this way. Get a get a closer look at those. Yeah. So actually, Eric, come back come back this way. So each side, port and starboard, you have large tackle drawers. So again, this second row seating has a ton of tackle storage, um, and that's what's unique on on every Viking as well. When you walk into the salon, we have our, our refrigerated step cooler. Right. So we we have that on here. This is all refrigerated also, this box. And then there's one port and starboard just to hold drinks. That's comfortable. Yep. Um, with this, uh, with the quad seats back here, this seating unit, we did raise up about three inches. So you have great visibility from the second row facing forward. Let's try that out. Yeah. You have AC vents right here, so it's uh, yeah. four air conditioning vents, four cup holders, a step up to get up into the seat, and then we angled the forward seating unit, you know, to be your footrest. Foot rest. Yeah. And the visibility from here, that, that slight elevation, obviously you're going to have people sitting up here in front of you. Eric, you really can't, let me, let me show, let me show the people at home what this looks like from, from my view. But I mean, the vantage point from here is awesome. You're not blocked, you, you're enjoying the outdoors out here, and uh, you got up, seat up, there you are. Seat up to seven people here. Uh, oversized hard top, I mean, plenty of shade. Blocked from the wind with that, that windshield. I mean, this area here, I could sit here all day long, and I, I, I just might, so. Yeah, and all those seats are, all seven seats are on the electric side, slides. So, oh, okay. Or, you know, if you're a shorter guy, you can slide it forward and get your foot comfortably on the rest. Awesome. On the ends, port and starboard of the forward seating console, we have a garbage can mm -hmm. on each side. For us uh, shorter guys, if you if you need it, which you really don't on this boat, but uh, flip down raised step at the helm. It tucks away with the magnet. Well, if you guys notice uh, the, the electronics and everything, they, they slightly angle that backwards back towards uh, the bow area which which allows uh, from what i see allows you guys to keep this this height a little bit lower you still have tons of space in the in, in the console cabin which we'll see in a second but yeah. the visibility here on a 46 footer without that step is, is uh, no, it's incredible deep. i could I, this thing could be up another four inches and it'd still be able to see well coming coming out of the hole you never lose sight of the horizon the the visibility is phenomenal this yeah. week a lot of customers were asking to put it at wahoo speed at like yeah 15 to 18 miles an hour and, and uh i mean perfect visibility yeah we have uh 22 uh 86 22 garmin and, and port and starboard we have a uh, 86 17 uh all your main switching is bokatex switching on this uh single panel and then we have the molded in electronics box in our hard top um, this hard top is built like any any larger Viking with our radar pod molded in. We have uh, that allows us for electric teaser reels up in the hard top. Uh, we have a track system through through there. Your teaser line runs right through the hard top and the grommet mm -hmm. on the outside. Look at that. Um, this spe specific customer upgraded his sound system, so we molded in this uh, 
quad speaker uh, pod. Standard in our, our hard top is going to be the molded in Lumitech spreader light aft and molded in spreader light forward. The detail on this top is just phenomenal. Um, with the with the pipe work, we were able, with the windshield frame that holds uh, a lot of the hard top structure as well as this uh, intermediate support. But there's no blockage. Everything yeah. you know, windshield forward, you're un unobstructed. Well, some, something I've always noticed about Valhalla and admired is that you guys tend to have a ton of features, a ton of little details that even though they're there, you kind of hide them in a way where it doesn't seem cumbersome and the boat still looks classy and clean and simple. Um, you guys have figured out a great way of doing that. And, you know, every time I look at something else, it, it you know, shows that even, even further. Yeah. So we've got a great team. I mean, you know, we, we obviously have always specialized in larger sport fish boats. So our team has a real sharp eye for details and, and it's just the little things like, you know, we didn't want all our, uh, fittings visible so you know this is your waste discharge fitting your water fill and it's tucked below a hatch yeah. you'll you'll notice uh some of the access to the to the fuel tanks are are under a hatch where you'd normally see a cocked in panel on the deck on on some other boats but uh yeah. we just try to hide those things as much as possible but yeah. you have to think of the functionality so you just open the hatch and you know you still have your access plate there of course as well right. um, obviously your head's in uh EC3 carbon fiber wheel. Yeah. Always love to see that thing, and it seems like it's a perfect fit to you know for this beauty. So just like the larger helms on on uh, any Viking, you have uh, a radio box port and starboard. We didn't want our mics all over the dash, so so they're inside the uh, port radio box. Uh, our our variable speed controllers for the bay wells are in here. We have a, a really awesome uh, fuel manifold system that's electronic. Uh, so you're not manually valving to each engine to a, a specific tank. At the helm here, you can select which tank you want you want nice. to run each engine from. And how much fuel, how many tanks are you running on this? We have three tanks. We hold a total of uh, just about 700 gallons. Um, 70 gallons of water uh, and 33 gallons of diesel for the gen. Very nice. We're gonna work our way this way. Yeah. So, Fresh, uh, fresh water wash down, salt water wash down on starboard. This is going to be just a storage area for uh, fire extinguishers. Uh, seven foot rod locker. On this side we have a really nice layout with our bait nets, some cleaning uh, poles and supplies, and then some gaff storage. Talk in here real quick. All right, let's go ahead and do that and we'll, we'll finish off on the other side. So the door actually pantographs out. And we have this open cut out so you don't bang your head. All right, this also acts as a drain so no water makes its way in. You can see that. So, besides having a seal, you know, this will catch any water, trip it outwards before it makes its way in. All right, I, I took over the camera for a second. Yeah. Go ahead. So, down Ooh. below here, uh, we have a uh, 32 inch TV forward. Uh, we have the dinette table here that goes up and down telescopes up and down with a filler cushion so with the cushion in we have a bunk length of six foot nine mm. so you know plenty of space to if you want to stay overnight on board uh, breaker panel here aft and then you can see a, a nice little galley with a refrigerator at, at cooktop and a microwave then you have a sink here as well yeah beautiful finishes yeah. in here all walnut uh, finish that you see here all right Let's make our way into the yeah. uh, head we got a surprise for you guys back here which Ryan showed me a little earlier wait till you guys see this yeah. so nice size head it's a you know wet head with a shower and then you have a nice uh, drainage system here um, but what's really unique to this boat is uh, like any our engineering team really thought this out very well and they want they didn't want all the mechanical components in the cockpit like you see a lot they, they just wanted wanted all that equipment out of the uh, elements so we have our own, own little uh, mini Viking engine room which is our equipment room you, you can see we have our uh, eight and a half kW generator uh, all our batteries water heater uh, all our electronics equipment um, is in this area 
And just like any, again, like any larger Viking, it has the uh, Delta T ventilation system that's thermostatically controlled. So, you know, if that generator or battery is put off some heat, it reaches a certain temp, the, the uh, ventilation system's gonna kick on. That was amazing. You almost don't feel that space well, should be available on a 46 foot center console. I can stand <laughs> up in here, you know. All your, you, I'll let you in no. here, but you can see all the, uh, you know, battery chargers. Um, That's crazy. Your main barrel switches are in here. Talk about room to access your mechanicals. It does not get much more comfortable to work on your stuff than that, ladies and gentlemen. It's literally standing inside of it. So this is a beautiful area again for a center console. You know, these, these spaces sometimes end up not as useful as you would like on a center console, but you know, Viking does a great job of really making that an inviting space. And on this one in particular, with the beam that you have and uh, the distribution you use, like you said, you still kept the cosmetic lines pretty from the outside, but you know, it's a perfect mixture of, of the two, you know. Really nice. Uh, moving forward here, dedicated location for our uh, dive ladder. another storage cubby you know really nice lounge seat with a contoured uh, base cushion here that really locks you in let's try it out yeah. oh. so it just kind of locks you in when you're running you know so two maybe three people up here very comfortably and then forward of us you know another couple person bench seat um, it's nice doing this little angle here it seems like you got you know, some sort of foam and just sat someone's body in it and, and created the, the yeah. exact contour because it, it just feels right. Yeah, it locked in really nicely. So, plenty of seating space up here, but you can still, you know, fish a sailfish tournament, honestly, oh, yeah. with no problem. And you're going to see extra detail hidden under here. You got your rod holders so when you on are, either side of this lounger. When you are, go, when you are fishing, you store this cushion. You have a 35 gallon pitch well up forward here. Um, again, we have, we went with kind of the pass through uh, forward bench seating. Super comfortable, you know, to kick up with the backrest here. But, you know, when you are in fish mode, a small step up and, you know, just perfect gunnel height uh, with the bolsters right at your thighs to, to fight a fish up here. Yep. Get another index box here, really large uh, insulated fish box. Got all our covers and stuff in there, but good size box. Underneath that step up, what do you have under there? So this area here, just a, another open cavity. Oh, wow. um, we're gonna end up putting another uh, anchor up here. Oh, okay. it's an extra road. But uh, this particular boat has the uh, windless option up here. Freshwater wash down. And the anchor locker up here. Very nice. On the space here, leaving the two pods side by side, just like you're saying, being able to access that locker without having to jump on your cushions and things like that, or fishing off the bow, is, oh, yeah, yeah. is easy with still having this much seating room for your family, for your fishing team, whatever it may be. You can do it all on this boat with uh, plenty of comfort. So, and it's awesome how you guys have added so much underneath the gunnels here i mean that liner oh yeah it's just a, yeah. a storage space and if you look down this line you really can't tell there's really nothing there if it isn't for the uh no, it all the flows. latches themselves yeah. it all flows really well. you guys build all these hatch doors yourself yes yeah these are everything everything you see there the doors all of that is built in house yeah you know we're not using an outside vendor's insert or anything like starboard that. uh yeah we doors and then Definitely gives you that sport fish feel, which you're yeah. used to seeing on the on the Vikings. Exactly. Here on the center console on their Valhalla's. The starboard side, just a little rope locker, store the dock lines, and then on this particular boat, we uh, we fit eight twenties in there. Again, seven foot rod locker. Um, so if you wanted to fill both, we we could have eight eight rods on each side. That's sick right there. Yeah. <laughs> I think we covered a good amount. I'm sure there's more that we could even go through here, but you guys get a good idea. We don't want to make this video 45 minutes long, even though I'm sure we could. Uh, Ryan, thank you very much yeah, for your time, man. You definitely appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Yes, if you have any questions, leave us a comment and we'll, we'll connect you as well.
All right, guys, so we're working our way out of here. Luckily, we were able to get here and get a couple hours, a couple hours before the uh, crowd. So they're, they're pulling in and we're pulling out. They're gonna be here for the next three days, showing off these, this boat and you know, pretty much the entire Viking line. So always a pleasure to work with this group and we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, if you find value in our stuff, subscribe, share it to as many people as you can, help us grow the name and we'll keep at it. So Eric, let's go. Time for lunch. We've got rumbles and grumbles. Hmm. <laughs>